Rushworth's Warringah Aged Care Hostel is undergoing a $10 million redevelopment funded by the state government. Construction of what will now be known as Warringah Health has just entered the third and final stage, creating one integrated healthcare facility offering a range of acute health, aged care and community health services in the centre of Rushworth. There's an ambulance drop-off, there's a, a community entrance, uh, we've got a large community meeting room so we can further engage the community into, into the facility. In places like Rushworth, the hospital or the health service is the heart of the community. Waranga Health will also give the town a flexible, multi-service provider for health while co-locating primary care, community health and district nursing services on the one site, making access to all health services easier for everyone. So $10 million project to essentially bring all the acute services and the community services into the aged care facility, so we're a one-stop shop at Rushworth. Um, refurbishing some of the existing aged age care bedrooms and bathrooms, um, add, adding some additional aged care rooms, bringing, uh, adding four acute rooms and expanding one of those acute rooms into a palliative care room. I think it's fantastic for all the staff to be able to support one another, um, all on the one site, but it's also fantastic for the um, residents and patients um, throughout their patient resident journey. They've got access to multi-skilled staff um, and all the services on one side. And while staff is thrilled with their new surrounds, it's the residents who can't wait for the finished product. It's going to be good when it's completed, especially with this garden out here. It used to be uh, a gazebo and everything out there. Um, I think they're, they're looking really forward to having the, um, the really big lounge room dining area yep. so that um, they, they are also um, pretty keen to have their bathrooms done up. They think that that's pretty good. As, and a few of them are pretty excited because there's going to be um, Wi-Fi that they'll be able to hook into. So we do have We've probably, there's probably about eight of them that actually have mobile phones. Having started in September 2017, the redevelopment is due for completion by the end of May this year.